Good morning guys. I am currently in the middle of having a very productive day. I have still got some bits to get done um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get a lot done today but I wanted to vlog a little bit today because I thought actually some of what I'm doing you guys might be interested in. So I am about to film a reel um, in the other room for my Instagram and TikTok for, and I'm basically showing like city break outfits. I've had a fair few people actually message me, um, which I love by the way, whenever any of you guys message to say, oh, I'd love to see you film this as a reel or, you know, this YouTube video. Uh, honestly, the amount of times people will start their message with, I'm so sorry to message, or sorry if this is a bit random, never apologise. You don't understand how nice it is as someone that creates content for the viewers, you guys, to come and suggest things that you want me to do because it it makes my day because I'd rather know what you guys want to see and I'm more than happy to oblige, like always. So yeah, with me saying that is if there is something you really want to see me film, just leave a comment. It's not annoying. I'm not going to see it as, oh, you don't like my content that I'm putting out. I see it as, thank God, you're giving me content ideas because sometimes, you know, you're shooting in the dark a bit with, with this game and, you know, sometimes content will perform well, sometimes people don't want to see it. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd actually had a few people message me saying that um, they were going on like city breaks and all of that sort of thing. I think a lot of people go away, don't they? This this like time of year, springtime, um, around to cities, and so yeah, I thought I'd put together a reel just showing a few outfits that I would wear myself. Um, a lot of them are suitable for you know walking around a lot, shopping, um, you know maybe going out for a nice um, nice lunch. So yeah, I thought if I'm going to film that, I might as well show you guys a little bit more in depth and maybe just a bit behind why I would pack that certain outfit if I was going on a city break. You also might have noticed behind me these little bits that are out. I've been having a little bit of a, not clear out, but putting away slash getting clothes out kind of session. Stupidly started it this morning and nearly got carried away. I thought, no, 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 this needs to wait until I've actually ticked off my work for the day. So I do need to start putting away a few of like the bigger just the more wintry bits from my wardrobe i know it's still pretty chilly here in the uk but there are certain items of clothing that like 100 percent i'm not reaching for now and i'm not going to reach for until next year for example i mean this coat is an absolute vibe when it's in the winter and it's freezing cold and i literally look like a human yeti walking around but my god does this keep you warm my big old it's like a faux fur kind of teddy coat from h&m i actually wore this on christmas day so on christmas day i wore my why am i talking about christmas anyway i wore my skims like beige it's like a maxi dress and um, we were basically just walking down the road to our local pub um because they opened christmas day for a couple of hours so um me andy and andy's parents we took the dogs had a little walk down just had a glass of champagne on christmas day and it was just it was just nice to kind of get out and yeah, just kind of broke the day up a little bit so anyway i wore this coat with my skims dress and my boots I felt like a proper rich auntie. It's just that coat, it's it's honestly gorgeous. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get it out again next year. But for now, I feel like it's, it's had its season. So things like this, that are quite big, they take up quite a lot of room. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a bit of a sort out and start vacuum bagging them away for the spring summer. Because as I mentioned in my last vlog, I also go away in a couple of weeks. So I need to also have a look at my spring summer stuff from last year to see what holiday bits I need and, you know, want to start mentally packing. So that's going to be my kind of activity for later today. A little bit of a sort out, not like a major one. As I said, the weather's just, I'm hoping by the time I come back from holiday, we're going to be in full, like full spring mode fingers crossed. I've also just realised I've not put perfume on today and I feel a bit naked. 
what should we go for? Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to go for my Jo Malone. I've been loving this so much. The Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. It's honestly become a firm favourite for like a daytime fragrance. It's just gorgeous. For anyone interested, this is my favourite evening fragrance. This is just... I can't explain it. Andy loves it when I wear this. It's a proper... Just... The only way to describe it, it's sexy. It's date night. It's gorgeous smelling. And oh, I hate... I cringe at myself. I hate to be that person that's like, I get so many compliments when I wear... But genuinely, whenever I wear this, the... Um, Oud for greatness. It's from Initio. This is the bottle. But genuinely, when I wear this, the amount of people that give me a hug or whatever and say, oh my God, you smell incredible. And this is what it is. I never wear it in the day. It's definitely not, um, it's not a daytime fragrance. It's definitely a bit um, heavier and a bit sexier and muskier. Um, definitely an evening, but oh my gosh, I love it. But yeah, in the daytime, I've just been really loving my Scarlet Poppy. Anyway, let's go on over into the filming room because I need to start filming this reel and yeah, let's show you what um, what outfits I'd wear for a city break. I keep all of my perfumes just on this gold tray that I got. I actually got this from Amazon. I think it was only about 20 quid, but I just thought it was a nice little thing that I just keep on my dressing table. I know a few people commented when I first uploaded my like dressing room transformation video saying please don't keep perfumes on the windowsill because I had them um, sort of laid there. Don't worry they did not stay there for long so I got this tray and then I just pop um, all of my faves just in here. So we've got a few here, we've got my Jo Malone faves here, my Initio one, another Jo Malone, my Narciso Rodriguez. I've got a couple of um, kind of like minis here. So I've got, I think this is my Zara one. Yeah, this is from Zara. Um, I've just got a couple of minis there. So if I am heading out or if I'm going to be out for a long time, I'll grab one of those and just stick it in my handbag. Um, what else have I got here? I've got my Laura Mercier, this one. Ombre Vanille. So nice. I usually actually spritz this one on me after a shower before I get into bed. Does anyone else have a quick spritz of perfume before they get into bed? I don't know if that's a weird thing to do, but this is like my bedtime, <laughs> my bedtime perfume. It just makes me feel really fresh and nice. Um, Tom Ford Black Orchid, classic, and then Clinique. So yeah, there's my little array. Don't mind the spare camera battery. I literally just had to have a little laugh at myself because I've just come out of that room there, which is my dressing room, about to go in this room here, which is like my filming room where I film my reels and everything and um, yeah I just told you I was going to go in there and I didn't even get that far I got as far as the landing before I stopped and then put my camera down and started filming again and um, we will get in there eventually we're just going to go the long way around the house I um, received these this morning so if you watched my um, spring trends video um, you will have seen that a trend for this spring summer is kind of like the return of kind of like the retro looking trainers so for ages now it's been all about like the big chunky trainer kind of vibe and the low top like slim line just the small retro looking trainers are really coming back it's almost like I feel like it's you know how ballet flats have really come back? Not that me personally, not that I'm going to be wearing them because they're not my thing. I feel like these are like the ballet flats of the trainer world because they're just really slim, barely there. And yeah, that's kind of what I feel these are. But I decided to treat myself and I did order myself some new trainers. Now, I was really, really torn between going for the Adidas um, Gazelles, which I used to own a pair when I was about... Oh, 16 15 16 and i loved them or going for the adidas sambas so let me show you what i got i feel like these are really going to divide opinions because you'll either love them or hate them or they'll be a bit like me i feel like they've grown on me if you'd have asked me if i liked these a month ago i, I honestly would have said absolutely not so if we open them up Let's stop teasing everyone. Let's get them out. So these are them. So these are the Adidas Vegan Sambas. Now these have been out of stock for a while. I managed to catch them on a restock. These are actually men's, by the way. 
but the male and female shoe sizes are just no different to be honest so i've got my usual size i'm a size seven in shoes these are a men's size seven and they fit no differently to a women's size seven i think because they are quite a slim trainer anyway um it's really not that different at all so yeah these are them i feel like these are trainers that i used to do pe in at school and they're really giving me that nostalgic PE school kind of vibe but I do actually really like them I love the colour of these ones I also really like um, the black version of these so they're black with the white stripes but I just thought these will be easier to wear because they're obviously very neutral they're going to go with everything and I'm always more drawn to a white trainer as opposed to like a different coloured trainer I have seen some people get these in um, like the green and I think there's like a dark almost like a dark burgundy colour and I think with the right outfit they look so good but I just feel like for me personally these this like colourway is just a little bit more wearable and I just know I'll reach for these more. They were £85. I got them directly from the Adidas um, like UK website. I will try to link them in the description box if they're still available. If not, I'll link them in a different colour because there's so many colours, honestly. Um, so if you're not a fan of these and you want something a bit different, um, just have a look because they've got so many lovely colours. But yeah, let me know what you think. I know I feel like they're going to divide people. They definitely look like a PE trainer to me. I feel like I should be playing like indoor football wearing these or <laughs> a bit of hockey or something wearing these. But yeah, I have fully jumped on the trend bandwagon. But at the same time, I don't feel like I've gone too trendy because I've kept it neutral. So yeah, I'd say good purchase. I'm pleased with them. When I say I was literally just about to film the intro for my Instagram reel, then the door went something is stopping me from filming this instagram reel today i'm just having way too many distractions but um when i went to the door it was a postman and he brought me a parcel and i just saw in little writing where this parcel was from so i thought grab the camera because i'm opening this for you guys can we also appreciate how lovely and springy it looks in the kitchen today i've got my tulips here on the go that i got in my last vlog they just look so pretty and then i've got my um oh, what's it called bloom and wild flowers i've actually got a subscription so i get like a bouquet every month and they're always different and they're always these kind of like wild looking flowers i love them so i've actually ended up with two sets of flowers so it's looking lovely and colourful in here, I'm loving it. But anyway, this parcel. So this is actually what I saw on the box. Sweet baked sensations. And I thought, oh my gosh, yes, this is going to be, oh my God, oh my gosh, there's two. Here we go, sweet bait sensations. This guy, Mitchell Horn, he owns this um, brand, Sweet Bait Sensations. He actually sent me a message on Instagram and said he would love to send me some of, obviously some of the goodies that he bakes. And I am never ever gonna turn down the opportunity to test drive some brownies. So, we open this box. Oh wow, I can already smell them. Oh my God. Well, obviously this is gonna be a Kinder Bueno flavor. Guys, if you could smell through the camera, this smells incredible. Oh my gosh. And I've just heard Andy pull up on the drive. What time is that? He's gonna come in and try and steal my brownies. And then this was in the second box. So this is obviously like his original brownies, but oh my gosh. And like I said, right on time, look who came back <laughs> as I was opening these brownies. Should we try one? Look at them. How good do they look? Can you smell them? Yeah. It smells so What's nice. This, like, choc chip? So this is like the, the choc chip. I might have this little corner Yeah. and take it upstairs. And, and I'll have one of these one? corners. Right. Yeah, and then we've had one of each. Yeah, should we try them? Yeah. How good is this going to be with a cup of tea later when I'm editing this, this that I'm filming right now? Let me try this. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Let me try mine. I apologise if you can hear that wind, but it is a seriously windy day today. So I'm just about to start filming. This is my, not even the first outfit in my reel. It's the outfit that I'm wearing at the beginning of the reel, but I just wanted to show you because I'm wearing it with my new trainers. So just as a little way of 
how to style them up really. So I'm just wearing a um, t-shirt, a slim fit, like top, fairly tight fitting t-shirt um, from New Look. I love this because I love the length of it. It's not cropped cropped. Um, it's just long enough so that you don't have to show, you don't have to show any flesh if you don't want to. And then I'm wearing these new grey joggers that I am just in love with. I'm going to do a full try on haul um, later on actually because I've been sent three of these sets. Um, they're from Tala. You might remember them, I'll talk more about them later but anyway they're from Tala and yeah I love their gym wear and they've kind of, they've just sort of like released some more loungy kind of wear and these joggers are just unreal. I've been really loving wide leg joggers as opposed to cuff joggers. I just like that it gives like a jogging bottom a more sort of formal vibe and I love how these look with the sambas. I think they just go really, really nicely. I think the sambas are a little bit like ballet flats. Personally, I feel like the best way to wear them is with a wide leg bottom like this. And then I'm just wearing my dark gray blazer, which is from Forth and Reckless. So yeah, guys, this is my outfit for today. I'm now finally gonna start filming. So let me show you six looks that I would wear for a city break. We already know what time of the month it is because I am just plowing through these Maryland cookies. I can't help myself, but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So when it comes to city break outfits, I feel like city break is just very vague. Like what city are we talking? Like what's the temperature gonna be? It's hard to kind of encapsulate every single scenario in just sort of like five outfits as I'm about to show you now. So I'm kind of going with the assumption that this is like European city around about now between winter and spring. So yeah, that's the kind of vibe I'm going for. Obviously, as we get more into spring, summer, these outfits may change. So yeah, that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for with these. First thing I'd say, if you're going on a city break, comfortable shoes. City breaks, you're probably gonna be walking around a lot or at least sightseeing or walking, I don't know, from shop to shop, whatever it is you're doing, you're probably gonna be walking around a fair bit. So comfy shoes, whether that's flat boots or if you like your heeled boots, just a chunky little heel, trainers, Uggs, whatever it is you like, comfortable shoes. Layers, obviously this varies depending on the temperature, but for me, I would always pack light layers so that I can, like I am now, have a couple of options. So if it was to get really cold, I could take my jumper off my shoulders and pop it on over my t-shirt, under my blazer, and yeah, I still look good, but I'm also gonna be warm. So, as I'm in this current outfit, I thought I'd show you the first outfit that I would take with me on a city break. I feel like this outfit would just suit going maybe like to Paris. It's it's kind of giving me Parisian, cool girl, chic kind of vibes. I feel like an absolute pretentious asshole when I, when I say that about myself. I'm well aware it's me in this cutaway, but it's the vibe of the outfit. I'm not saying I'm some sort of Parisian, cool girl. I wish. But the outfit is giving me that vibe, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I've just got on a tight white, um, like, fitted T-shirt. Um, this is the one that I had on earlier from New Look. I've got my SLA, the label, um, black blazer on. Some black shorts, which I believe are from Zara a little while ago. I've also just popped on a belt. This is my Holland Cooper belt. I just like the little um, sort of gold detailing. It's just, it's quite subtle, um, but I like it. It just adds a little bit of something. I've then popped on some tights and I've also got my knee-high flat boots on. These are from Glamify Fashion. They kind of give me like a riding boot kind of vibe and um, just a little bit more casual so I really like them and then this jumper is from H&M it's gorgeous and I've just popped it on around my shoulders I feel like this is like the grown-up version of you know when you were younger when you take your jumper off and you tie it around your waist I mean I don't know why I'm saying when when you were younger I literally still do that now <laughs> but um this is like the grown-up fashion way of doing it isn't it just tying the jump around shoulders just that nonchalant kind of oh it's here if i need it later kind of look and then i have also just popped on just my black headband um in this clip here i have taken it off now because i need to film some of the bits and i didn't want to uh didn't want to rub my makeup off 
But yeah, I love this outfit. This is definitely, for me, this is definitely like a shopping, shopping around Paris kind of vibe. Stop at a few nice coffee shops, stop for lunch. I just love it. This is probably my favourite look of everything. Okay, next outfit. And I know I said the first one was my favourite, but I also have a big soft spot for this because... As we all know, I'm in my slight phase of being obsessed with maxi skirts. So, had to include a maxi skirt look, didn't I? I knew you'd come up. I could feel your presence. Oh, and you. I've got both the cockers in here with me. Hello. So, for this look, I've just got on the same white t-shirt. Honestly, you one of the best things you can do for your wardrobe is just investing in plain basics. Because you can just wear the same one as a base life every single look. So same white t-shirt i've then got on my cropped brown um leather jacket this was the one that i had on in my last vlog from princess polly i've then obviously got my maxi skirt on from mango and then i've just paired the look with my new trainers just for a super casual kind of like comfortable vibe i love the 90s look that it gives it but if that's not your thing it would look just as good with some knee-high boots um, in fact, let me get the boots that I would also think would look really great with this outfit. So if the trainers aren't your thing, these boots, I have already tried on the outfit with these as well. These would look unreal. So just, or a pair just super similar. These are from Zara. I did get them fairly recently, um, like towards the end of last year. So they might be on the website, I'm not sure. But these are just great and super comfortable. You can walk around in these all day. So yeah, just a couple of like different variations. And then I've also just got on my new white bag from Alida, just to tie in the kind of white and tan vibes. I love this look. Okay, guys, this next look, I've just gone for the suit kind of vibe. So this um, grey blazer and grey trousers are both from Forth and Reckless. I literally got them this time last year. I don't know if they're still online, but I'll try and find super similar and link it in the description box. And then I've just paired it with my grey bomber jacket from Zara, just because I'm really loving, I'm loving the layers, I love the different tones of grey together. And then in the reel I did also pair it with a black cap, but obviously I don't want to put that back on because makeup, you know. So yeah, again, another grey outfit for a city break. I love um, making a suit, just a little bit more casual with trainers, a coat, a cap. It's just my kind of vibe perfect i feel like this look should just be everybody's go-to when it comes to a city break outfit great pair of jeans great leather jacket and then just style it up with some great accessories and you just can't go wrong so i'm just wearing my ripped jeans from zara i'm then also wearing my vintage black leather jacket i got this from asos marketplace so i can't link the exact one and whenever i've tried to find one similar i always struggle but it's just beautiful i honestly just love it but just to make the outfit a little bit more interesting i've added my mustard colored bag guys this is literally so cheap it's just from plt i love the pop of mustard with the blue jeans and black um, leather jacket though i just feel like it's a color that really pops next to it and um, yeah just yeah i just think it looks really nice and then to go with the mustard bag i've added in my vela sunglasses because they've kind of got that mustardy yellowy green tint to the lens so i just think all together it looks super cool i feel like you're gonna have a little strut round i don't know copenhagen or paris or milan go shopping it just feels again very cool very casual and most importantly very comfortable oh my gosh it's just all of a sudden gone really really dark today the sun has just disappeared and suddenly gone very gray <laughs> But anyway, next outfit, again, super simple, but just really classic and comfortable. I feel like this is the kind of outfit that will look good on absolutely everyone. Doesn't matter your age, your body type. This is just an outfit for everyone. So white t-shirt. I've gone for a dark blue denim with this outfit. It's a proper like 90s style denim. These um, jeans are from my recent Zara haul and I really, really love them. I think this outfit would also look just as nice if you wanted to, if you didn't want to wear jeans and just wanted to wear some normal trousers. I think wearing this with some camel coloured trousers or maybe some dark grey trousers would also look lovely. And then I've just popped on 
a little wool jumper round the shoulders just to add again a little bit of interest but also practically if you are going around you know a city and you're unsure on the weather it's always good to have a jumper to hand just in case. I obviously couldn't put together city break outfits without obviously including an outfit with a trench coat because it is one of my favourite coats to wear especially this time of year and I'm also wearing it with a shirt. Now this is one of my favourite ways to wear a white shirt um, just open as a layering piece. It just makes your outfit look a little bit more interesting and yeah I just love how it looks layered under, especially under a trench coat, I think it looks lovely. It also looks great layered under blazers. So with this outfit, I've just, I've really gone for a more neutral sort of beige camel kind of vibe. I love the different colours of beige um, from the trench coat and the trousers. I love that they're not exactly the same, but they're within the same realm. Do you know what I mean? And then I've also just popped on my black Colin Cooper belt just for a little pop of detail. My Fendi bag, because I just love how all the colours go together. And then obviously comfy shoes. I've just popped on my Adidas Samba trainers because again, all of the neutral vibes, all of the comfort. I really, really love this outfit. And again, it's really practical with the layers. If it was a bit too hot, you can take the trench off but leave the shirt on. If it got even warmer, take the shirt off. I just think it's really nice to have options when it comes to going on like a city break. Yeah, I hope you like those little kind of like outfit ideas for if you are going on a city break. Let me know if you want me to do maybe a part two or do another little section like this in my vlogs. I love doing like styling and outfit inspos, but yeah, anyway, that's my reel filmed for the day. I've also been filming TikToks and yeah, I think it's time to do some editing. I did want to make a start on clearing out my clothes and stuff but I feel like my time would actually be better spent editing today because then tomorrow I can kind of dedicate more of like a, a half day doing all of that rather than try and cramming it all in right now. Good morning guys, sorry I'm probably looking a bit dishevelled, it's very early, well it's, what time is it actually? Oh, 10 past 7, I need to leave in a minute but just uh, made myself a quick iced coffee which probably in hindsight wasn't the best idea because um i've got a bit of like a bit of anxious belly this morning but i have so i have a jump lesson with flicker this morning so i've just got ready hence the pale makeup free face i scrubbed all of my tan off um the other night so yeah feeling a little bit pale but oh well i'm just wearing my um aztec diamond base layer my hair needs a wash but obviously i wasn't going to wash it before uh, this morning so yeah I'm gonna wash my hair and I'll come back. Um, Aztec diamond base layer, I've also got my Aztec diamond, I can't bring my leg up this high, Ugh! riding tights and then I love these um, like quarter zips from 4th Arc. I've got them in a few different colours but I love them because basically it's a really long zip on them um, so when I've got my riding hat on I don't have to take my riding hat off to like slip them on and off when I get a bit hot and sweaty halfway through the session. Like when you pull the zip down, you can actually fit this over your head with a riding hat. So um, they're not like an equestrian brand. It's probably not what the designer had in mind for them, but a really, really good jumper for riding. I wish there were more equestrian brands that adopted this kind of mantra. Anyway, I think, does Bonnie want to come in? Bolly's exploring in the garden. We've had loads of um, geese in the fields at the back of the house, um, a lot recently. But yeah, there's like this one big group of geese that come every single morning. You look out our bedroom window, they're always there. And Bolly and Desi, I think they can smell them. And sometimes they'll come really close, close up and sit on the fence at the bottom of the garden. And the dogs just go wild. They love it. <laughs> they love it when the geese come round. Oh, bless them. It's really feeling like spring this morning anyway. It's such a bright, lovely morning. It's put me in such a lovely mood. It's so, isn't it so much easier to be a morning person when the mornings are just bright and nice like this? Oh, I'm hoping we've seen the back end now of that horrendous weather that we've been having. But anyway, yes, I'm going for a jump lesson. I don't know why I had a bit of an like anxiety belly about it this morning. Um, I don't know whether it was because my trainer had mentioned um, stepping up doing some trickier things and whether it's just played on my mind a little bit. Sometimes I'd rather not be told that I'm gonna to be doing that and it just happen. 
because then you've got no time to worry about it. But yeah, I'm not gonna be worried because I feel like if your brain says you're worried, your brain tells your body that you're worried, you ride differently, you know, you're telling your horse that you're nervous and it can kind of spiral. So I'm not nervous, I'm super confident. It's nothing that we're not capable of, so. Yeah, we're gonna go and smash it. That is the mindset that we've got this morning. And then when I come back, I am gonna have a shower, freshen up. I feel like I just need a little bit, just a little bit of pampering this morning. My skin is like that post, it's post period skin. Um, I had a couple of like little odd pimples here and there, nothing major, but yeah, I feel like I need a little bit of TLC this morning. So I'm gonna um, do a nice, Nice skincare routine. I might even do um, an eye mask or a face mask, something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that when I come home. Fresh, fresh washed hair. And then we're gonna have a productive day. I'm also gonna be sorting out, um, basically cracking open some of my summery clothes today as well. Just ahead of my holiday in a couple of weeks to see what I've got. And I've also, oh guys, last night I got into a hole, I sat on my phone and I was looking on Zara and they have some lovely stuff in, really nice stuff if you are um, going away on holiday soon as well. So I've currently got, this sounds stupid, I've got so much in my basket just sat there. So when I come home, I think I'm going to go through it and be brutal and go in my basket, get rid of stuff and hopefully make an order so that... We'll have a nice little Zara haul next week. Bolly, I can see you coming back. Have you finished with the geese? Anyway, my lesson starts at eight o'clock, so I am gonna get moving and yeah, <sighs> feeling, feeling confident. pajamas on I was just in the Christmas spirit okay so there we go um obviously I'm back now I have had a shower I've washed my hair and I'm just about to do my skincare um as I mentioned earlier my skin is just feeling a bit you know just when it's been that time of the month and then it just feels a bit meh Honestly, why was I even nervous this morning? She is just such a good girl. We had such a lovely lesson. It was so good. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about it, really. She's just brilliant. We've got our first um, one day event next month. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling really, I'm actually feeling really confident ahead of it. And yeah, she's just, she's an angel. I'm gonna just use these Elemis Pro Collagen um, eye masks. I quite like doing this when my eyes, when I feel like a bit tired and I feel like my under eyes might need a little bit of, I don't know, a bit of help. 
I'm just going to pop these on for sort of 10 minutes or so. There we go. I also feel like my face is looking very pale because my face just doesn't get a tan. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't let my face get a tan. I'm just so religious with my SPF and keeping my face sort of out of the sun that, um, yeah, my face doesn't um, really get tan. It's always a bit pale. So I'm going to put a little bit of like face tan on as well. While that soaks in and does its thing, I'm going to do like sort of the rest, the rest of my normal skincare. I've been really enjoying the Ole Henriksen. Um, it's like their vitamin C essence. You might remember um, a couple of vlogs ago, I did an unboxing and they'd sent it to me. And I've just been really enjoying using it. I love the smell of it. it. Makes my skin nice and glowy. I love a vitamin C anyway. Also this evening, we are going out for our, well, one of my best friend's birthday. So, oh, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go to their house. They've just moved into um, their new house. Um, literally like a week ago so we're gonna go um, and like have have a little drink there and like toast the new house and yeah and then we're gonna go out for some food and then just see where the night takes us I think there's no solid plan after that yeah just got a really nice evening haven't got a clue what I'm wearing though and usually I kind of got a few outfits already in my head that I can just oh, I'll think oh, I'll just wear that one. I really, I haven't actually been out properly in so long. It feels like ages, I can't remember. Yeah, but no outfits are springing to mind. I need to actually, I need to actually go in my wardrobe and shop my own wardrobe and come up with an outfit. Because at the moment, I'm gonna be going out in my Christmas pajamas, so. So I'm now gonna use my Drunk Elephant. If you would like to come out, please, there you go. My Polypeptide Cream. Yeah. Oh, that's probably a little bit too much. Never mind. I'm then going to follow that with my Drunk Elephant Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum. Right, I've had these on for long enough. Oh, my under eyes do feel um, do feel a bit brighter. Right, I'm now going to. I need to stick a bit of tan on my face. I'm just going to pop on a couple of the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in dark so my face isn't totally see-through and then i'm just gonna pop on some of my spf anyway i am going to go and crack on with some work i've got lots of editing to get done today i can never fit myself in this screen so as i was saying i'm gonna go and do some work now and then um i'll probably check in with you later when i'm ready and can show you what i am wearing So if I just bring you down here, we have a big pile of holiday clothes. Yay! Oh my gosh, guys. It's currently tipping down with rain outside. And I'm trying to fish through holiday clothes. Great. I feel like coffee is definitely needed right now to help me with this. I wonder how many of you have been here for long enough to remember when I bought some of this stuff. Let's find out. I feel like some of you might remember this. Oh my gosh. How embarrassing is this? This still has the label on it. That's like not even funny. But it means I can wear it on my holiday. Who remembers this? This gorgeous little yellow, oh gosh, little yellow dress from Zara. How cute is that? How come I didn't get a chance to wear that last year? To be fair, actually, in my defence, we didn't actually really go on holiday last year, did we? We only, me and Andy went away with his mum and dad, and that was it. We didn't go, like, on our own holiday, because obviously we bought this house. So that's probably why some of this stuff did not get a chance to go out and party. But, oh my gosh, that's going to be so nice. Okay, that is definitely a keep. I'll definitely be able to wear that in... Miami and Costa Rica, I'm sure. 
Oh my gosh, okay, I remember this top, this Zara top. That's quite nice to be fair to wear with like that. Oh, do you know what this would look really nice with? Denim maxi skirt in the spring summer. Oh, you are staying. Okay, these are my SLA the label pieces that I did take on holiday with me. They're gonna stay because I got so much wear out of these on holiday. They're like floral, but beachy trousers. Do you know what's quite cool about going through this as well? Because I didn't vlog my only holiday last year, the stuff that I did wear you won't have even seen, so it's all gonna be a surprise. That can stay 100%. I also have um, the bikini that matches it. So this is like the little bikini top. Very cute, that can stay. Ah, this is like a cover up dress version of um, those trousers. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Oh, this is making me really excited for spring summer. Can go there. Oh my gosh, I remember this floral bandeau from SLA the label. The trousers to match. This was an absolute vibe. I wore this on holiday with red lipstick, had my hair tied up thinking a ponytail. Oh, this was nice. This, I can definitely wear that one of the evenings. That'll be a really nice outfit. Oh my God, I so nearly bought myself another like woven bag like this because I couldn't remember if I had one. I'm so glad I didn't now because it was nearly identical to this and I've got one. I don't need to buy one. Brilliant. I'd only ever buy another one of these now, genuinely, if it was um, like designer now. That's because I don't feel like I need an upgraded high street version of this bag because it's just, it's perfect. Do you know what I'd really love? Have you seen the, you know, the Prada beach bags? I'd love the, I love the Prada beach bags. But yeah, that's the only reason I'd ever upgrade these bags now. I don't see the point, just keep replacing them. Unless obviously it was starting to fall apart and I needed one last minute, but that will do the job. Can't beat a good old pair of white shorts. I can stay. This really reminds me of when we moved into the house last year because it was so hot and I like lived in this jumpsuit. It's from H&M. It's gorgeous in this neutral colour, really wide leg. It's so, so nice. And it's got a little tie belt around the side. Oh, I just love it so much. I can't wait until it's hot enough and I can wear that again. How exciting is it gonna be to get sandals out again? Oh, can't wait. Who remembers when I bought these last year as part of my Zara haul? How excited was I to get these? These platform chunky heeled sandals. I absolutely love them. I still can't wait to wear these again. And because the whole like 90s kind of vibe is back in again this year, I'm gonna get so much wear out of these. These again with a maxi skirt. They're gonna look unreal. Can't wait. Oh dear. I thought this hat might have um <laughs> might have seen better days. Oh dear, there's gotta be a way to fix this. Oh, I actually, I bought this on my holiday. Oh, surely that can be fixed somehow. Anyone's got any tips to like, put the hat back in shape? <laughs> because that, I mean, that's just not the vibe, is it right now? I'll have to find a way to uh, sort that out. Oh, my good old jumpsuit. I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, if you, I think the only holiday I've ever vlogged and actually put on YouTube was mine and Andy's trip to Greece when we went to Rhodes. And I wore this gorgeous green Zara jumpsuit on that holiday. And yeah, I just can't, I can't get rid of it because it's so flattering. It's so nice. I absolutely love it. It's so good for just like one of the evenings on holiday. So. I'll probably be taking that with me as well. Something else that is gonna be quite on trend this year are the long like Bermuda style shorts. So the proper like 90s ones. You know what the ones Julie Roberts is wearing in Pretty Woman? They're almost knee length, kind of like suit shorts like that. And I remember buying these last year and thinking these are gonna last me. Some more shorts here. Oh, these are basically Basically a white pair. Cycling shorts. Now, I think cycling shorts are great. I love sticking them on with like an oversized t-shirt. Um, I, I find them quite comfortable if it's like a hot day, but I, don't, I haven't really seen much. I don't really think they're really that on trend this year. Um, I'm gonna hold on to them, but I don't know how much I'm gonna be reaching for these this year. Although I won't speak too soon, I don't know, but I don't know if I can see it. 
don't know, chunky white flip flops from Zara, they can stay. These pink jeans from Zara, I don't know if I'm going to be reaching for those this year. It's always awkward isn't it, I never know, I'm so, I honestly struggle to get rid of things so much because I think oh, what if I do want to reach for it again, what if pink jeans suddenly become a massive thing. But realistically, am I going to reach for these pink jeans? I'm thinking not. I'm thinking they need to go. Yeah, I think the pink jeans, I think their time has been and gone. Sorry, pink jeans. God, I remember these, these pink, pink like linen trousers. Oh, can't get rid of those. I feel like there will be a summer evening. I can wear those with a nice white top. They can stay. I've had this green dress for about two years as well from Zara. It's super short. I feel like it might be too short for me now. I feel like it might have shrunk. Right, I'm gonna have to try that one on and see if that one can stay. This gorgeous two piece from Nasty Girl, that can stay. Are these my Adidas shorts? Yeah, they can stay. That is just too good to get rid of. That is just pure holiday. And there we go, guys, I've gone through my little holiday bits. I was quite brutal last year, to be fair. And I know I did get rid of some stuff rather than packing it away. I think I did a good job, to be fair. My stuff that I'm not gonna keep is, there's not a very big pile of it. And the majority of the stuff is staying. So I'd say that was a success. I'm glad I've done that now, because now I know what bits I need to order. I feel like daytime stuff, I'm kind of okay for. I think just another two or three Maybe two or three nice new dresses or something for in the evenings and I'll be sorted. I don't think I'll need much else. Speaking of holiday clothes, I did oh, pop my order in for Zara and I ordered a fair bit but um, one of the boxes actually came today. I'm still waiting on a few things so I thought, do you know what guys, as my little vlogging crew, I'll open this box. And I'll show you a little sneak peek of one of one thing that I bought, but I will be uploading a Zara haul in a couple of days time. Well, next week. But I thought I'm going to open the box. So let's just show you. Let's just show you a couple of little pieces that I've ordered. Okay, so. Oh, perfect. This is literally what I was going to show you anyway. Okay. I'm afraid I'm only going to show it you on the floor guys, I'm not going to try it on, you'll have to watch the haul for that, but I ordered from Zara these green like linen trousers, the colour of them isn't coming up very nicely on camera but they're gorgeous with the matching top which is like almost like a waistcoat kind of vibe, like alter neck waistcoat but it is backless and it's just got these two little straps and I just thought this for one of the evenings in either Miami or Costa Rica it would just look so so nice but anyway I'm gonna leave that there because you'll have to watch the haul to see what else I bought and to see a full try on anyway guys I'm super conscious that this is gonna be a really long vlog um, I'm sorry I didn't really go anywhere this week but it's just been one of those weeks where I've just been at home and one thing that I didn't mention on this vlog as well I completely forgot to tell you is I actually took off about two or three days in between filming a few of these days because I had the worst migraine come on from just nowhere. It was so bad, I literally couldn't have any lights on in the house. I couldn't look at my phone screen, couldn't film. It was just, I was literally walking around the house like this. Like I could barely open my eyes. It was a bad one. So yeah, I've just been a little bit stressed as well because following a migraine, obviously I wasn't able to be on the laptop really or edit anything so I've fallen behind a little bit so next week will probably be a bit of a busy one but anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed this vlog and yeah I'll see you in the next one but look out for my Zara haul coming in a couple of days bye guys